Hey guys, what's going on? It is Raylan. Welcome to the channel today. We're going to be looking at how to connect your Xbox One to a monitor. Now, there are several different monitors that I could use to display my Xbox on, but we're going to use this one. Um, just because it is the main big boy, it's expensive, it's a BenQ, it's 24 inches, and it has two HDMI ports on it. The rest of my monitors do not have an HDMI port, in which case I would need to use this guy. This is an adapter for DVI to HDMI. So what we would do is we would plug this guy into the back of the computer, and then we would take an HDMI cord and plug it into here, and that way we can, you know, watch whatever we want to watch with that has an HDMI uh, cable. So that's an HDMI cable. We're going to put it down right there. We're going to rock to the back of the Xbox One and show you how it works. So this is an HDMI cable that's being run into the out port. So HDMI out port, HDMI cable into a monitor. So make sure that it is in the out port. There are two different ports. Make sure it's in the out port. There is an in port. Don't put it in the in port. Put it in the out port. It should say HDMI out. And it's in there right now. So we can go ahead and switch over to show you guys that it does work and it will take a couple seconds in order for it to switch over to the different input. So we're on HDMI 1 right now. I want to switch over to HDMI 2 and it's going to go black and it will show up in a second or so. So boom, there it is. Uh, Xbox is playing and we're updating Call of Duty. It looks like it's updated. And um, this is the other way. The reason I'm showing you the back of the computer is because I do have a capture card here. So. If you want to capture your Xbox One footage or something, you would need a capture card. So that's what we have here. I'm not actually currently capturing my Xbox One just because it's being ran into the back of the monitor and I don't feel like streaming or recording anything I'm doing. Um, but if you really wanted to, you could spend about $200 and buy yourself a capture card that goes right down here. And then you would plug your HDMI out cord that's going in from your out display and you would plug it into right here. Um, that kind of connects the bond between your Xbox and capture card, but now you need another HDMI cord, which we already have, and we would just bring that to whatever monitor that we want to. Right now, the little blue ring um, HDMI cord is being ran up into that side, but I am currently capturing my PC footage and not the Xbox one, so that's why it's uh, we have a cord right here. It's the HDMI cord that's being ran um, just a little ways forward. So that's how to do that. And the other thing we're going to look at is how to make the Xbox One audio work with um, a PC. So the first thing you're going to need is a mix amp that can run several things at once. This is the Astro um, setup that I have right now. This is the latest color of the original Astros. There's also a blue uh, and, and, and white one. Uh, we're going to use this one. So we have two cords. We have one going from the controller or from the controller into here. Then we also have one going from the headset into here and they have to be separate. So there's actually little markers on there that show you headset and controller. And then you have on the back here, this is the audio that's going to be plugged into um, the Xbox One. So you take your Xbox One uh, audio area and you plug it into here. You have a 3.5 millimeter jack. Um, now this is very important because this is going to allow your PC to pick up um, this headset as a PC headset. So you're going to be able to use the microphone and the uh, headphone and the PC is going to be able to pick that up. So what you do is you run that down here and you can see that we have a splitter. So we have one cord running up into two different cords or a splitter and we have one going into the mic, one going into the headphones, headphone area. Oh. And that's how that works for me and how it should work for you guys. The last cord is just the power cord, uh, micro USB um, being powered by the PC. So that's how it works. And I can hear and uh, talk on the Xbox One as well as the PC at the same time. So I can be on Vent, Mumble, TeamSpeak as well as the Xbox One and everybody can hear me. It works all together. So uh, if you guys have any questions, put them down in the comment section below. I will talk to you guys later about that, maybe in my next video, um, or I can just comment and do whatever there. So guys, I'll see you later. Thanks for watching. Boom.